Hey guys, Bad Dude here. Welcome back to more or less play Astro Boy Omega Factor. Last time we got here into the Antarctic, and uh, Rag here is the new president of the Antarctic, first robot president in history. But this uh, this organization has been here to destroy Rag, so we're not gonna let that happen. So let's go ahead and just uh, I'll wreck these guys. Destroy him. We'll never accept a robot as our president. Stop the violence. Stop the racism. And <laughs> noobs. Holy jeez. You know what? You can't handle my special beam cannon. What? It looks human, but it's actually a robot. Destroy it! Hold her right there, you bastards! Ha, huh, these guys are noobs. Come at me. You alright? We're no match for him. Let's get out of here. Thank you. My name's Nuka. Y you're also a robot? Yes, you saved my life. Thank you. What an elaborate robot. No, that's not right word. That's not the right word. What, what am I looking for? My electronic brain is telling me something, but I'm not sure what it is. I get into some kind of special feeling, but it's difficult to express. Oh boy, Astro. I don't think that's a feeling in your head. Astro, what are you daydreaming about? Oh, <laughs> oh he got cock blocked. They're getting away. Go after them. Yes. And we got the uh, number one, um, got the number one person for uh, tenderness, which is Nuka. That should be the boss. I'm not letting it get away. All right, we're in this um, infinite laser area. All right, these guys are uh, pushovers. Careful, avoid the uh, green peas. Alright, just go ahead and use the machine gun. Come on. How many guys do we have to kill? Jeez. Also, I'll probably fix the fix the um, lag issue that we had in the last episode. That was just high encoding on my part. It took too long to encode. Uh, in case you guys are wondering, I'm using OBS to record my uh, my uh, video, which is a uh, open broadcaster software. I'm using that. No, it's a fake. It isn't the real boss. He he he. Yes, that's right. I'm just a decoy. Our task was to lure you away from the president. What? Ever heard of Carabus? Carabs? It's the world's largest tank robot developed in France. We succeeded in stealing Carabs and converted it into a flying bomb. So now it can fly to its target, the presidential palace. And guess what? Carabs is already headed for the presidential palace. Our invisible monster is equipped with the world's toughest shell. Astro, can you stop the bomb? Oh no! The president and everyone at the palace are in danger! I have to go back now! Alright, we gotta get there quick. Alright, these guys are invincible, so you can't kill these guys. <laughs> but I like the sound that you do. That ring, that ring. I like that sound. Duh! Oh, that was a bad idea. Okay, that was a good way to hit all enemies that were around me. And, oh, they came up from behind, man. Oh, I can only shoot forward. Okay. 
I'm getting pretty low on life here. Alright, just use the machine gun and it'll be done in no time. Alright, I love that sound. Dang. God dang it. Alright, come on. Don't get hit. Thank you. Oh, they came out of nowhere, man. I right, keep using the machine gun. Again, they came up from behind. It's bullcrap. Oh god, that was too close. Come on, that did kill it. This will kill it. There we go. Oh, thank God, I got life. This might be a carabs. Watch out! Don't let it hit you. The head's the weak spot. All right. All right, come on. I'm gonna get hit again. Okay, no, I'm not. Alright, come on. Come here, man. Ah, oh, wasn't quick enough. Okay, get past that. Use the Kamehameha or the arm cannon. Using the arm cannon. Ah. All right, just use this so it can avoid damage. And it come back at me. All right. Okay, nice. That's a good strategy to get past him. Now use the arm cannon. All right, just keep lasering him. Oh, I should have used the uh, machine gun right there. To avoid damage. Alright, alright, I avoided it either way, so it's good. And you're done! Nice, stage 4 clear. Sweet. Yes, the Antarctic is safe now. Well done, Astro. Great, Astro, you really are the world's strongest robot. Okay, let's get to the inaugural ceremony. Everyone, thanks to you, I, Rag, am the world and the first robot president of the world. All humans and all robots, please listen to me. As I said earlier, I am a robot, and robots were created by humans to help them. As a representative for robots, I say we are proud to work for humans. However, recently, humans have begun to fear us, to fear robots with souls like Astro and myself. To those who fear us, please know this, we only want to work with humans. Look at the Antarctic right now. Flowers are blooming here where they once a barren land. This was done through the accomplishment of both robots and humans. Let these flowers be the symbol of collaboration between humans and robots. Let the Antarctic be the first step towards peace between humans and robots. P President! Ha ha ha, watch and learn robots. Who are you? I am Dead Cross. I am the leader of the Black Looks and represent humanity. My, my, such a smooth talk for simple machines. Now listen to me. Robots are tools, nothing more than tools for humans to use. And that's the bottom line. We created you. We can destroy you at our own whim. This is our world and humans' world, and I accept nothing less. Hey, wait. Stage 5, Marine Express. Go! Go and destroy the robots! Understood. Sir, please, gotta leave. Not so fast. Come here, you bastard. Use the shot. Ah, dang it. Okay. <laughs> I right, keep using that. All 
<laughs> He's like a freaking um a paddle ball getting him back and forth. And it's a bowling ball. <laughs> Alright, these guys are complete newbies. And holy You know what, screw you. Are you serious? Did it the wrong way, dude. That's really awesome. <coughs> Alright, come on. Alright, keep hitting these guys nice and easy. Okay, use the shot. Okay, you big guys. Don't want to mess with these guys. Okay, just keep using the machine gun. It's all it's all good. Nice. Okay, keep doing that. Nice. We are whooping these guys. <coughs> Alright, keep using this. You know what? Screw it. And that was kind of a waste, but whatever. And nice. We got the black looks. Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade our shot. There really is no um, need to upgrade our jets for now. Because there's no point. There really is no need to upgrade our, our jets for right now. So we're just going to keep upgrading everything else until, you know, they're maxed out. If we can max them out. Well, we can, but I don't know if I can. Like, geez. Is, th is there any, like, freaking way to for me to find every person in the game and get all their powers? <laughs> yeah, I don't think not. I think not. Goodbye, Astro. He's going to use the Marine Express to get away. I won't let him go. Wait. <coughs> Alright, we got another infinite laser area. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> nice. Ah, damn it. Alright, come here. Wow. Love my new uh, shot, by the way. It's pretty good. That ring. Love that sound. Alright, keep doing that. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Alright, just use shot. The good thing about machine, you don't take damage while doing it, which is really good. Alright, these guys have terrible aim, because I see I cause I clearly and come on, that's so bull. Hey, no! That was kind of close. Alright. Just keep doing that. Ah, when is this going to end? I don't know when it's safe, man. Alright, just let it go past. It's fine. Okay. Oh, jeez! They were coming from behind, dude. Alright, 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, I have 1,000 left. Oh, jeez. Alright, I'm safe. <laughs> Damn it! Ah. Oh. And it let me start over. Oh, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, I'm back. Anyway, God, but I'm but I'm not doing a heck of a lot better than I was before. And oh my gosh. There's three of those big guys. The missile almost killed me. And sweet. Please tell me there's a checkpoint. Somehow I kind of doubt it. Green Express is a weapon cache. What's this part of a plant? Part of his plans. And oh my gosh. Get away from me. Alright, come on. Alright, we killed that one. Ugh. Ugh. Come on. Damn it. Uh I'm so nervous. Sweet. No. Shoot him down. So unfair. Alright, come on. This can't be it. Nice. I was getting nervous there. Because I thought there was going to be a checkpoint. And now there's a checkpoint because there is. Get it faded to black for a second. You know what? Just kill me. Whatever. Whatever. Kill me. Alright, now I'll get full life now. Sweet. Oh my gosh, if I started over from the beginning, I would have been so mad. Uh, I would have been like, Oh, that is cheap! Uh, I would have been so angry. Alright, come on. Alright, get in there. Take care of these guys. I need to start using my jets more because I haven't obviously hasn't been, haven't been using them enough. My arms getting tired. My, my or should I say my hands getting tired? Oh, from tapping. Oh, my hand. Oh, I need to stretch out my hand. getting dark in here as well. I need to turn on the light. Hold on, I'm gonna turn on the light for a second, guys. And uh, never mind. <laughs> the light bulb went out. Alright, so whatever. I'll be sitting in the dark then. Ah, damn it. I was too late. Oh, that's bull. Alright, sweet. Wally! I was waiting for you, Astro. I jumped onto this train while following Dead Cross. He's locked himself up there, but I can't get any closer than this. I told Kennedy to keep him on, it, on the train, but where did he go? Kennedy? He's actually my nephew. He's been acting as an assistant, but... Well, let's just say he's confused right now. We can talk about that later. You have to be careful. Yes, sir. Heart, thank you. And, oh my gosh, I want to stretch on my hand for a second. Alright, I'm going to stretch on my hand while talking. Oh, you're still alive. Can you handle the latest model, uh, roboid? There's a roboid on this train? Oh, I didn't see that, man. Alright, screw you. Screw you! 
Ah! Huh, nice, we killed that. He's dead. Stage five clear. That's right, baby. Alright, Dead Cross. Let's go ahead and upgrade our laser. So we got an even bigger command man. Give it up, Dead Cross. You have nowhere to run now. Oh, you. You look exactly like President Rag. Yes, that's because I originally created Rag in my own image. I wanted to become the next president. So I wanted a robot that looked exactly like me to run my campaign. It flew around the world to make speeches and promoted me. Everyone, I am Rock and I'm running for president. <coughs> Once I am president, I shall revoke all the rights of all robots and our human society will be pure once again, I promise. Yes, we must make robots understand that they are nothing but tools. <laughs> my robotic clone was very smart and learned to think on his own. First, I had to entrust it to speak and run my, on my behalf, but then... Mr. Rock! What? Are robots only human tools? You needn't worry about such things, just I like the puppet you are and repeat what I say. But, silence! Are you going to stand against me? No sir, I will obey. But it started to act on its own free will. Everyone, I have something to confess to you all. I am not Candidate Rock. I am a robotic replica created by Mr. Rock. I have been working as him until now. But I stand before you today to announce that I have had enough. It's true that robots were created by humans to serve them, yet are we just tools? Must I obey the commands of a crook who wishes to deceive you all? I don't think so. Humans and robots should coexist as friends who help each other. So I would like to run for president as myself, Rag, not as a puppet for Mr. Rock, but as a robot with mind of its own, for the future of humans and robots. As a result, Rag won the presidency by a landslide. He humiliated me. I lost my dignity, my life, everything. The only place I could go to find peace was underground. And all I could do was watch my robotic double take my position, my own double. Can you understand now how I have become disgraced? Then when I started wearing the mask and become Dead Cross and the leader of the dark looks or the black looks, I've been waiting for a chance to get my revenge on robots for a long time, but it's over now. Do as you will. Anyway, let's get back to the Antarctic. Tell the police. What? What is this? Whoa, where are we? Where are we now? This is the bottom of the ocean. What's going on here? Welcome to my empire. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am Mr. Don Dracula. Minister Don Dracula, and this is the ruler of the Moo. Empire and Prince of the Three Eye Family, Shiraku. Yeah, welcome, you foolish future outlanders. You will work for me until you drop dead. This underwater train is exactly what I was dreaming of. Capture them. Oh no! You'll never catch us. You two, stay close to me. What is this? Pook? Pook? Pook, you're interrupting me again. Get some soldiers. They're headed towards Sapphire Castle. Don't lose them. Stage 6, Lost World. Welcome. I'm Sapphire, the Princess of Moo. All of you risked your lives to rescue Pook. I must thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Oh, it's you, Pook. It's me, Astro. I'm sorry, but I do not know you. Huh? I don't think that one went the other way around the last time we met. This must be a time paradox. I guess we come back to the past. From the bottom of the ocean, we traveled into the past. We traveled through time. Can you please tell me what's going on? Yes, of course, this is the past for you. You traveled 30,000 years back in time and space to this Moob Empire. Can it be possible? It's due to the power of the Shiraku, who is a member of the Three Eye Clan. Their fearsome side power cuts on the third eye on their forehead. So, like Tien! <laughs> so many Dragon Ball references in this game. 
One day, Shiraki suddenly appeared to the Mu Empire and took over everything. Robots were forced to fight against humans, controlled by Shiraku's psi powers. It's so sad that robots and humans had conflicts in the past as well. Pook and I were lucky to survive, but we're a little more than fugitives. Shiraku has taken every speck of mineral from Mu, and now our continent is at risk and may sink to the ocean bottom. Sapphire, you and I are safe, I know for sure, because we have the Marine Express. Where is that noise voice coming from? It must be telepathy. This castle is now under siege. Hand them over, including Pook. Otherwise, I will destroy everything. Shiraku! I won't let it happen. Aha, I see. My powers can't seem to affect your super brain. You can't overcome my Omega Factor. You can't beat me. Fair enough. Come to the pyramid. I'll put an end to you there. But that's the end of this episode, guys. My hand is killing me. I'm going to take a bit of a rest to start... To start I'm gonna take a bit of a rest and then I'm gonna start recording again. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Astro Boy and Mega Factor and I'll see you guys next time.